Hello, I'm Dave Pattison of EtherTech Circuits. In the previous video entitled RMS100 Web Interface Overview, we showed you how to connect to the RMS100 board and briefly went over the web interface. In this video, we will show you how to use the relays to turn devices on and off and how to use the built-in relay scripts. So let's go over the RMS100 relays. The relays can switch a maximum of 10 amps at 125 volts AC and 5 amps at 30 volts DC. Each relay has its own dedicated push button to toggle the relay manually without the need of the web interface. From here you can see that each relay has its own LED that will turn on when the relay is energized. Each relay has two jumper pins. These are used to energize the relay and hold it energized. They can also be used to add external relay buttons to your enclosure. Now we're going to actually hook up a device so that you can see the relays in action. Before we begin, let's briefly talk about safety. The amount of electricity that we'll be using in this demonstration could cause serious injury or death. So if you do not possess the proper qualifications, please do not attempt to use this instructional video. Find somebody who's qualified to do it for you. Another quick safety tip is never to touch the exposed relay barrier strip when power is going to the terminals. Now back to the demonstration. We've chosen a standard household lamp that is powered by 110 volts AC. We will hook it up so that the light's default state is off. This is the power cord of the lamp. As you can see, I've cut one of the wires and attached a standard automotive eye to each side of it. With the power cord of the lamp unplugged, we can go ahead and put one side of the wire into the COM terminal on the RMS board in Relay 1. COM stands for common. And we can put the other side into the NO terminal. NO stands for normally open. And NC, the third terminal, stands for normally closed. Now when you press the relay button, the light goes on. And when you let go, the light goes off. Now we can move on to the RMS100 web interface. On the home page, you can see the relay icons. The RMS reports data in near real time. When the relay button is clicked on the board, you can see the relay icon update without refreshing your web browser. Notice that when I clicked the button, the relay state changed to NC. And when I unclicked the button, it went back to NO. Now let's configure the relay with the web interface. You can get to the relay page by clicking on the relay icons or by using the left navigation bar. This is the relay page where you can control your relays, name them, and create your own relay scripts, which we will go over in another video. For now, let's name relay number one by clicking on the relay one setup icon. So let's name this relay lamp. And we'll give it a short description. Now down here we can describe the on and off states of the relay. When the relay is de-energized, the common and normally closed terminals are connected. We will call this state off and give it red text. Now when the relay is energized, the common and normally open terminals are connected. We will call this state on, of course, and make it display green text. And of course we hit OK to save changes. Now once the relay is being set up, holding the mouse over the Relay1 setup icon will now show a tooltip with the description we entered. 
So now the great part is that to control this relay from anywhere you're connected to the RMS network, you simply press on the Relay 1 control button to energize it. And this warning box is making sure that you really want to energize the relay. The warning box can be skipped by unchecking this Relay Action Confirmation checkbox. As you can see, turning the relay on and off over the internet is very simple. In part two of this video, we'll go over relay scripts. Relay scripts are used to automate complex relay actions. Let's use the web interface to build a relay script. First, we name the relay and add some notes. The left side box contains the available script commands and the right side box contains the commands that you've added from the left. We can demonstrate the test script by adding a few commands and then running it. After the script is saved, it can be run from the Relay homepage. As you can see, with one button click we can automate relay actions. Relay scripts can also be triggered based on voltage or temperature levels. And that concludes the RMS100 Relay demonstration. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it.